Hello and welcome to Crack Grid B. In this video, we will be discussing about fermentation. So the topics that we are going to cover are introduction to fermentation, different types of fermentation, nutrients requirement for fermentation, lactic acid fermentation, alcoholic fermentation, pickling, acetic acid fermentation and advantages of fermentation. So let's start with the introduction to fermentation. Fermentation is a metabolic process in which an organism consumes an organic substance like carbohydrates such as glucose, lactose or maybe something else to produce an alcohol, carbon dioxide and some organic acids. Fermentation can be done in aerobic or anaerobic condition depending on how we need the final product to be. Fermentation can be the cause of spoilage of many foods but if fermentation is done under controlled and continuously monitored process then it can be beneficial for us and many of the fermented products are also edible. It is also considered as one of the oldest methods of preservation which is used all over the world. There are a wide range of products that are manufactured by fermentation. Some of them are beer, cud, wines, pickles, etc. Different types of fermentation. There are two types of fermentation based on the number of products that are being formed. They are homofermentation and heterofermentation. When only one type of product is being formed, that is known as homofermentation. Whereas, when more than one products are being formed, that is known as heterofermentation. Now, depending on the type of end products that are being formed, fermentation can be of various type. For example, lactic acid fermentation, alcoholic fermentation, acetic acid fermentation or citric acid fermentation. There are two types of fermentation processes based on the type of the substrate used. First one is submerged fermentation and the second one is solid state fermentation. In submerged fermentation process, it involves the growth of microorganism in a liquid broth generally. This type of fermentation is done in cut formation. Next is solid state fermentation. The microorganisms are grown on a solid surface that is a substrate which is best suited for the fermentation process and the product. This is an alternative to the submerged fermentation. This needs less moisture and free flowing liquid is not needed in this type of fermentation. Both type of fermentation has its own advantages. Fermentation can be done by batch method, fed batch method and continuous method. Next is nutrients requirement for fermentation. There are various kinds of nutrients required for different kinds of fermentation. It may vary from product to product. The main requirements are a carbon source or an energy source, a nitrogen source and different minerals and vitamins sources. Carbohydrates are traditional carbon and energy sources for microbial fermentations. Pure glucose and sucrose are rarely used for industrial scale fermentations, primarily due to cost. Molasses, a byproduct of cane and beet sugar production, is a cheaper and more usual source of sucrose. Corn strip liquor is a byproduct of starch extraction from maize. Peptones are used as protein sources. Lactic acid fermentation. Lactic acid fermentation is one of the most common types of fermentation. Lactic acid is a weak organic acid. Lactic acid bacteria or labs are used in the production of lactic acid. Both homofermentive and heterofermentive bacteria can be used in the production of lactic acid. Lactic acid bacteria are a diverse group of bacteria that are able to ferment various sugars producing lactic acid. Some of the examples of lactic acid bacteria are 
lactobacillus acidophilus, lactobacillus casei, lactobacillus bulgaricus, etc. Sauerkraut and yogurt are produced by the help of the lactic acid bacteria. Alcoholic fermentation Many of the alcoholic beverages are produced because of the alcoholic fermentation. In alcoholic fermentation, sugars are broken down to produce alcohol, mainly ethanol and carbon dioxide. Some of the alcoholic beverages produced by fermentation are brandy, rum, whiskey, beer, wine, etc. Although the concentration or the amount of alcohol present in these beverages may vary from each other. Pickling Pickling is a process of preservation of food or edible products in acid solution, generally vinegar, or in salt solution that is known as brine solution. In the latter case, the acid that is responsible for the preservation action is mainly due to the lactic acid which is produced by the lactic acid bacteria and the resulting food product is known as pickle. Sometimes oil and spices are also used while the making of pickles. They have a variety of taste and are good for health when consumed in small amount. If we consume pickles in a very high amount, it may cause some problem to our health. Acetic acid fermentation Acetic acid is one of the most common types of acids that is used in food preparation. A dilute 3 to 5 percent solution of acetic acid is known as vinegar. 100 percent acetic acid is known as glacial acetic acid. Fermentation is conducted under controlled atmospheric condition for the production of the vinegar. Acetic acid can be prepared synthetically or by bacterial fermentation. Vinegar or acetic acid production is done with the help of acetic acid bacteria that is also known as AAB. Advantages of fermentation Due to the fermentation caused by some spoilage microorganism, the food products may get spoiled but then also fermented foods have different advantages some of them are it increases the shelf life of the food product it enhances the taste of the food it can be used in industry for commercial use fermented food can contain probiotics which are beneficial for our gut health. For example, yogurt. It is a rich source of probiotics. Thank you so much and happy learning.